Okay, the topic is three ratios of unit circle. That's the topic. Okay, so that means we have to actually start by drawing a circle. So everybody please draw a very nice circle. And on your circle, always create a center, you know, wherever you think is the center of the circle. And then based on that center, draw, you know, you're basically splitting the circle into four equal parts, like quadrants. So this is your X axis this way, and this is your Y axis, and we are dealing with unit circles. So unit means one. So you are drawing a circle that has a radius of one. So I'm just drawing something here, you know, writing radius of one. And this circle makes um, an angle theta with the horizontal axis. Okay. So then if you trace down, you will see that this point, this point on the circumference of a circle has coordinates that can be described by um, a certain value on the x axis, which is right here, and another value on the y axis, which is right here. So this y axis can also be written, you know, just this place. In other words, you can separate, you know, just for clarity, just for clarity, you don't have to, you can separate the, the triangle inside of course, it created a 90 degree. So you can separate the little triangle inside and have something like this, outside it, you know, just for clarity. And this is see your theta, and this is one, and this value here is x, and this is the corresponding y as is. This is the corresponding y as is, okay? So now, once any time you have a right triangle, two things has to come into your mind. One of it is Pythagorean theorem. Pythagorean theorem, because that's one thing that is used in solving a uh, right triangle. Another thing is uh, Sokatua, which is basic trig ratio. So these two things has to come into your mind because you are going to use it. Now, as for Pythagorean theorem, uh, all we do is we just write a formula. We already know what it means. So I need somebody to remind us, please. Pythagorean theorem formula. Uh, a squared plus B squared equals C squared. Okay, A squared plus b squared equal to c squared okay so now considering this our unit circle which side is c considering this one oh uh, one okay exactly so c is one so this is one squared all right and these other sides y and x it can be any of them can be a or b so any of them can be A or B. So you can write um, X squared plus Y squared. All right. So now one squared, if you look at the meanwhile, we don't know. We don't have the value. We don't have any numerical value for the X. We also don't have any numerical value for the Y. But we have a numerical value for the C. And uh, so we can evaluate the right side. And the one squared is what? One squared is what? One. One. Okay. One times one is one. So we just retain. We just retain um, the the left side. Okay. So this equation we just created right now. Let me let me box it. This is the general equation of a unit circle. Just like you have a general equation of a linear. 
So this is a general equation of a linear uh, unit cycle. So you can call it uh, general equation of unit cycle. General equation of unit cycle. Okay. And generally, generally, uh, for circle generally, let me write it the other side of it. You know, if it is not a unit circle, the, uh, the general equation is going to be x squared plus y squared equal to radius squared. Okay, so this is general equation of a circle not unit it could be any other the radius could be any other any other uh, length other than one all right but this one is very very important to us this one um you know doodling right now is very important to us okay so now let's get back to uh the triangle let's get back to the triangle now we identify because we have an angle theta and this is 90 degrees. So let's identify our opposite adjacent and hypotenuse. So which side is the opposite right here? Look at this uh, triangle. Look at this triangle. So which side is the um, opposite? Remember the opposite is the side that is facing the given angle or the requested angle. So it will be Y, right? Yes, it is Y. It is Y. So just write O. Then, of course, the one is the hypotenuse. Of course, the one is the hypotenuse. And then the X is the adjacent. Okay? So what this thing tells us, for a unit circle, no other side can be greater than one. No other side, not the opposite, not the adjacent. It cannot be greater than one. Because the longest side is one. So in a right triangle, one uh, in a right triangle, the hypotenuse is always the longest side. Because that's the side that is facing 90 degrees. And in right triangle, 90 degrees is the highest angle you can obtain in a right triangle. Okay. 